So this is the very first ever official video, if you don't count the update or my Asperger's video. Um, the first official, like, entertainment video that I have planned. And for today, you're gonna get a double videos in one day. Like, a double Blu-ray videos and unboxings in one day. And we're gonna, because you have what the, the title of this video is, and then a Criterion unboxing um i know i could make this in like to both the same video but it's better off to have one distribution as one video and we're going to start this up with the g kids blu-rays now i have got this this past thursday so um and as you can tell with all of these blu-rays i have gotten a total of seven g kids blu-rays all of these are actually Oscar-nominated films. Um, so, and these are actually the animated films. Now, if you have seen, I have done retrospectives of the Oscar animated reviews from 2010 through 2015. I even did an individual review on two of these that I have done um, that were from, like, between the years of 2016 and 17, respectively. And going by the order of when they, how they were in the packaging, the first one up is Ernest and Celestine. Um, this one was, of course, from 2013, uh, Lost to Frozen. And if you saw in the video, I ranked it as my number three, right in the middle uh, uh, on in the animated lineup of 2013. I have already done a little bit of a depth in the um, episode of um, the movie itself, so I really don't need to go really much in explanation. Um, but, yeah, so this is like a special edition one. I not know what how G-Kids does with their Blu-rays. Now, I have seen, like, some of the G-Kids ones on the stores, but it's just, like, I purchased this officially on the G-Kids, uh, on, like, on their official website. It didn't went, like, I know, like, there were some, like, at Best Buy, and, uh, like, I did sell, like, some at uh, Target or, um, Walmart as well, but um, it would, but they didn't have these any of these films in their shelves. So, um, good thing I purchased them um, through the, um, their official online instead of a physical store. Well, I know that's wrong to say that, and of course there's like major little tapes here. I'll I'll deal with that later. But uh, let's see what we got in here. So. Um, is this also is this oh okay so i get it now so you basically get like um the dvd and the uh, blu-ray for this so that's why it's called a special edition and it also kind of gives a little bit of a kind of like a booklet of a, like little pamphlet of the other g kids films they have in distribution as well um and of course in this one uh not all of them but at least four out of the seven of the he's came with the slip cover so um, very surprising this one actually did, but, um, yeah, like, in this English dub, you have, like, Forrest Whitaker, Mackenzie Foy, Lauren Bacall, Paul Giamatti, William H. Macy, Megan Moley, Nick Offerman, and Jeffrey Wright, like, a lot of them in here, um, I'll deal with more of the tape later. Next up, from 2014, Song of the Sea, um, this is, of course, the Cartoon Salon's second animated film. Um, I know The Secret of Kells is also in there as well, um, but I have, it's the only Cartoon Saloon movie other than Wolf Walkers that I've yet to watch yet. And I don't know how, if there if Wolf Walkers is, I don't know when Wolf Walkers will, will be in the G Kids release, since of course it's on Apple TV Plus, but I'm not sure how they're gonna, but, distribute this, but, um, so, um, I have already given my thoughts on this film as well, um, like the first 30 minute like the first half hour just really did not start that great but once the sec but like once that half hour really begin um starts when the journey begins that's when it like i go more depth in the review but um yeah i'm going a little bit more faster this time because i really don't have much anything else to say uh oh by the way the next one is the breadwinner so i actually have done an in-depth review of the film it's been a while since i've saw this one in particular I know this one, um, I can explain a little bit more of my thoughts since, um, I haven't watched this one in a while, but I remember this was a pretty heavy movie, unlike any of the other cartoons, so, um, like, okay, may, well, I have yet to see how, have, um, how The Secret of Kells and Wolf Walkers go, but this is a pretty heavy movie, because it's, like, one of the fewest films that doesn't really set in, um, in a full, 
and like a folk tale or something like that because this is like the setting is like in the middle east and it's just like pretty heavy and and angelina jolie is actually an executive producer of this film i uh, definitely deserved the nomination it was my number two on the 2017 video um of the 2017 nominees right under coco um like one of the fewest that did deserve that oscar nomination be of that year because as you remember the 2017 line it ended up being not a great lineup for many people, especially it was the same as the Golden Globes. Now we're going to Studio Ghibli territory, and I already have gave my thoughts on these two films. Uh, first up is The Tale of the Princess Kaguya. I did not see this one um, or the other one, um, Ghibli film on the stores I went to. Like, the only ones I did saw, like, were My Neighbor Totoro. I saw Princess Mononoke, as well as the collector set at both of them were at Walmart. I saw, yeah, Totoro Spirited Away was also at Walmart. I also did saw My Neighbor Totoro at uh, Best Buy, and I saw Nausicaa in the Valley in the Wind on at uh, Target, as well as, like, there's the Studio Ghibli Steelbooks, but I, I'm not a fan of, like, Steelbooks or, like, item, like, like because it's just, like, these, like, 4K, and I don't like 4K, and I'm, I'll, I'll deal with that later, but, um, oh, okay, then. So... You get how many? Okay, that's the D. Oh, okay, so you get the Blu-ray, and then you get a bonus disc. Oh, it's the documentary of um, the making of the movie, but it's only on DVD? Really? Unless it is also in the Blu-ray, but I'm not really sure, but really? Um, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm a bit surprised. It's not a, like... It's on DVD here, um, not on Blu-ray, but I'm not really sure because I haven't explored the inside the Blu-ray because I just unboxed this. And look at this. They, and also came with another booklet and they promoted Song of the Sea. So very interesting to um, Oscar. It's promoting another um, one of the films that was competing against that year. So I, I don't know how the pamphlets are, booklets are in, in the Blu-rays. I'm not really sure because keep in mind, I'm just doing this for fun. Uh, next is When Marnie Was There, uh, of course, the latest Studio Ghibli film they made before their hiatus until Earwig and the Witch. Um, this one, of course, I really had an interesting, I was, if you've seen the 2015 nominees, um, my reviews on the 2015 nominees, you know how, um, I was a bit, like, um, off, like, it, I still gave a positive thing, it was just, like, one of the, like, I, it was, like, the promotional material just felt weird to me when I was walking. Well, like, like, it was just like, yeah, but what I'm saying is the promotional material of this movie, um, made me thought that this was a LGBT theme movie, well, as I said in the video, uh, but no, it's not actually, it just really feels like it, see, this is how proof I show you this, because it almost feels like a lesbian movie, like, it just shows it, based on, like, that, and, like, the trailers, and, of course, with uh, the design of Anna here, I mean, it almost shows proof, but although it's never been confirmed that if Anna is a lesbian, but it almost feels like it. I know I'm going a bit it, weird there. Like, not, okay, not really weird, but it's just like, it feels like it makes sense. And now we go into another film. I have done an individual review on it when I first did the Oscars reviews on documentary international animated films. My Life is a Zucchini. This is, of course, um, from 2016. The shortest, I th if I'm correct, the shortest animated feature to be nominated here, because it's only an hour. Like, Academy Paris was, like, almost close to that in second place, which I'm not getting that one. So, you know, that's going to be one film um, in the G Kids lineup that I won't be getting. Um, I didn't see The Red Turtle in there um, when I was looking at it online. I'm, and I'm not getting Minari, because... Um, very ironically, I never really thought of this. Minari, like, the main kid in Minari, I forgot the boy's name, he's basically Caillou. I know that's odd, but if you know what I'm talking about, Minari, the 2018 film, it almost feels like it. Um, so, I really had a great time. Both, this is actually one of the films that I recommend watching both dubs in, because both the main dub and the English dub really works well on both of their, um, um, well, both well in their castings, because um, a unique thing about the main dub, since this movie was made in Switzerland, um, the language was French, uh, the kid actors had no acting experience, and what they did was they 
kind of it's kind of like a live action references like in the earlier Disney films. You know, like the live action reference in Alice in Wonderland where like like infinite example in the tea party scene when they had the actors in costume playing their respective characters. It's basically kind of like this, but it's just instead of costumes or just like you um using it for animation references since the movie is in stop motion, um they used it to record their lines. And, like, they recreated the entire movie, which I really wonder if in this movie you do get it. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't look like it, but um, based on the bonus selection, so I'm guessing not. But I really had a really good time. It's just short and sweet and a bit fun, so definitely a great one. And the last one is actually the adult independent animated film from the G-Kids lineup. Chico and Rita from 2011. This was also at number three on my ranking. Um, by the way, uh, My Life as a Zucchini was at number four in this, uh, my 2016 ranking. Um, and of course, both Princess Kaguya was at number two when Marnie was there at number um, three, and Song of the Sea was at number four on the 2014 list. But I was a bit surprised when I got the Chico and Rita Blu ray when I'm getting here because I'm a bit surprised here. And, of course, this is 2012 Academy Award nominee. That means, of course, the 2012 Oscars for the movies in 2011. And this was the one I'm kind of surprised at the most because it says a special edition Blu-ray. And I'm honestly a bit surprised what this is because... Oh, yeah. Uh, the top here. Um... Yeah, um, so this is, of course, an animated film that kids are not allowed to watch because of, since it has a lot of violence and most notably, of course, everyone's favorite adult thing, nudity. I mean, animated features. And I can't really get this. I, I'm being careful, people. I'm just, unless I'm missing something. Oh, I'm dumb. Um, yeah, uh, give me a second. I'll be back when I... Get this out. Never mind. Uh, that was quick. Um, okay, so what is... How is this a big one that it comes with? It, no way. Is this a booklet? Oh, it's like... Oh, it's like a... Oh, it's like a com... Oh, okay. You get like a comic of a little bit of the film itself. Oh, okay then. Oh, and it is in English. Um, I have yet to see, I think, the main dub in English. I think it, it does come with this. I'm... Does it like? Well, I'm surprised it's a limited edition one. Like, what is? Like, what do you get here? Like, Blu-ray DVD? Like, what is this? Oh boy, it's really. Pet. I don't know how it's that was. Like, what is this? Is this Sony? Mu is this a? Is this a CD? Full-length Latin Grammy-winning soundtrack. Oh my gosh! Wow. So. For this special edition of Chico and Rita, you get the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the CD disc of the soundtrack. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting this. This is why it's big. Wow. I'm a bit surprised about this one. Um, wow. I, I, I can't wait to explore what's in this one. Um, and that's basically kind of it with the uh, G Kids Blu-rays um, for that. Um, if you have seen any of these films, you can um, comment down below if you've seen any of these. Um, hit that subscribe button if you're new. And be on the lookout later, um, I think this evening, you will get the second Blu-ray unboxing on the Criter another round on the Criterion Collection.